Hey guys, um, here are some considerations for the future for this bathroom if I, if I buy this house from my dad, which I don't know will ever happen because my dad bought this house back in the 70s for like 100 grand, but this is what I would do to this bathroom if I were to buy this house from my dad. I mean, I, I do have um, access to eBay, but honestly, if I were to purchase anything off eBay like toilets, my parents would have my neck, whether it was with my money or not. And also with eBay, I basically don't, I'm afraid that if I were to buy a toilet off eBay, that it would break during shipment. Because I think it happened to Vintage Toilets VT. He had a Mansfield Simplex shipped to him and it was all bashed up in the package. That's one thing I worry about if I were to buy a toilet or sink off eBay, but hopefully I, that doesn't happen. I can just go to the salvage yard, but they have so few vintage fixtures. I really, I love to live in, uh, live, have, live near a salvage yard. Like you know, J, it's toilet heaven for JMCD because he lives right by multiple salvage yards. So uh, this is what I would consider putting into this bathroom if I were to buy the house from Dad. So this sink is super ugly. I hate it. It's boring. It doesn't fit in with a the bathroom. There used to be a wall mount praying sink, but he took it out and destroyed the floor when he put the this sink in. So I would have to probably put in the pedestal sink because the bait, because I wouldn't want to see what the damaged floor. So I would probably consider either putting in a, a standard or crane pedestal sink. That is if I can find them in a salvage yard or off eBay. Um, that's what a consideration for this sink, which is just, he put it in in the 80s. So he definitely didn't know he was going to have a son in the future who would jump out, jump down his throat for putting this in and making the bathroom look ugly. Yeah, these are original. Now the toilet I was considering putting, I would consider putting into this bathroom would be a backspud forward track toilet, which would look really, really nice, even though the original toilet in this bathroom did not have a backspud, but it was a forward trapper crane toilet. Um, so if I were to buy this house for, for my dad, this is, I mean, what's, what's the rough in? Uh, you can clearly see the rough in is, is it 12 inches? focus 12 inches I think it's a 12 inch rough in I don't know what a standard modernist bowl would have I and of course the one drawback with putting in a standard modernist is that I would damage these tiles are irreplaceable they're like a unique tan coloration and if I were to try to put a tank in I would be damaging the tile and they would probably break off and it would be hard to fix I could use mighty putty but that probably wouldn't work either but it would look really nice, you know, maybe a crane or a standard toilet. Now, a standard toilet, I would probably get a Compton. That is, if it really were, I mean, because, you know, a Compton would look nice as well because, you know, they do flush a lot more down than what it, this toilet would flush. Um, I could get a crane toilet. I mean, I was thinking there were di many different versions of uh, the crane forward trap toilet with the orange slice trap way and spout i mean there was the new mode which was in this bathroom and then there were a few other versions of the crane toilet that had a bowl just like the new mode but of course it had there was the back spud nandock which joey 1978 filmed there was a new era which which standard fan vintage toilet hunter and uh toilet productions filmed that would look really really nice but the question is would i risk damaging these tiles and having them break off and fall off the wall because they're irreplaceable and of course, I wonder what kind of rough-ins the standard and crane new mode toilets would have. I mean, I think the crane new mode had a 12 inch or 10 inch. I'm presuming I didn't measure it. Yeah, my my neighbor actually sold it to uh, to a couple up here up in the north where I live. I think it was in Brighton, north of Ann Arbor. So that's where I, my neighbor sold the crane new mode. At least he didn't smash it up. But I'm still very guilty for not being able to obtain it from him. He said I could have it, but my parents begged a difference say, no, it's a piece of junk. It's going to stink up the house. No, you don't want to put that in there. Oh, it's all gunked up. It's junk. Oh. You know, my parents are just, I, I love my parents. It's just, they don't share my plumbing interests. But yeah, what toilet would you consider me putting in this bathroom? Because I know this Mansfield toilet, yeah, it's okay, but it's still, it's boring. It sucks, mainly for the look, but I wonder what kind of toilet you would recommend for me, and uh, I wonder how toilets on eBay, eBay are shipped, because 
I worry that if I were to do this, it, the toilet would come in smashed up. I also had an opportunity to uh, do, go on eBay and buy, but of course my dad said, absolutely not. I'm going to rip off your skin and hang it on the wall if you do that. I don't know. He, he, he said it like that, but, it been, but he would, I know he would be really angry if I did, even with my own money. I mean, I was wanting to get a standard Compton off eBay. There was like one for like $700. I did, I could have gotten that 1930s standard modernist off eBay with a tank, but there was no J-shaped backspud connection. I don't even know where you get the J-shaped backspud connections. But um, yeah, that is if I buy this house from my dad. If I move out of this house, which I don't plan on doing because I'm afraid of driving. I mean, I like living downtown Ann Arbor, but it's pricey rather than, being, so it's cheaper living out far away clearly see it's just snowed november so yeah so anyway i'm just spelling you guys know what you think would look nice um the bathtub i am not taking out because i don't know the bathtub is it's, it would be an extreme hassle and it probably would i'd have to i don't know the bathtub i mean it's a bathtub it's pretty much it's cast iron the shower's broken free prong um but yeah i don't know I think I'm just going to keep the bathtub because it would be a huge hassle taking it out. And yeah, it's a crane, um, it's a crane Drexel tub. Maybe I could get a crane Drexel toilet too, I don't know. But anyway, this is what, these are my considerations for the future. For this bathroom, if I were to uh, buy it for my parents, specifically my father. But, and I just heard rumors from my dad that he might re re redo this bathroom altogether. He would rip out the flooring and put in cheap plastic flooring um and you know he my dad doesn't really like the look of this bathroom so yeah those are just some considerations i made and of course i'm really i like i mean i prefer this bathroom the way it is just so when i buy it i can install something super vintage and i can do all kinds of things in here with for the toilet community on youtube so these are just some considerations um you can give me ideas below in the comments section